One of the major issues with product photography, especially high-end beauty product like this one, which is uh, very common retouching work, is the reflections. So, of course, a lot of beauty products are very shiny and they can also reflect other things. And these reflections are not always desired by the customers. So we need to take care of them. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to quickly take care of them uh, to not waste too much time. So I'm going to start with these reflections. And of course, some people prefer uh, to keep things more natural. Maybe some people would like to keep the uh, light inside. But what we are going to do, we are going to remove all of the reflections. So what we want for the final result of this image is a clean image and no reflection, best representation of the product. To start, of course, I'm going to create a new empty layer. I'm going to rename this to clean and I'm going to do selection around these areas. And the selection will allow me to retouch very precisely, especially when I will be working close to the edges. And the best tool for the selection in this case will be pen tool. Uh, we could be thinking about some other selection tools, but I can tell you that the other selection tools will not be able to give you straight selection uh, along the edges. So once I choose a uh, pen tool, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to try to draw the straight line along the edges. So it's really important to not go too far, uh, better to have this selection a little bit inside than outside because we don't want to change the shape. And over here, I'm going to do like this. So no uh, need to make difficult curves, just uh, make the step by step uh, clear selection. Of course, just to remind, uh, you can follow along by working on the same image. When you download the image, of course, you can work together with me. So this is the first selection. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit right and choose make selection. And now I need to choose feather radius for the edges of this. So I don't want to have too smooth of a transition because as you can see, the edges are quite straight over here. So the feather radius, I keep at one pixel. And what I'm going to do now, uh, we have the choice uh, first, uh, if we are able to, uh, we can work with clone stamp on the top over here. I can easily work with the clone stamp, but it can be a little bit more difficult, especially uh, when we'll be working closer to the edges, maybe somewhere on the bottom. So for this sort of task, I would even recommend you trying to paint this with the brush tool. So you can press B on the keyboard or choose the brush tool over here. Uh, I'm going to choose the soft edged brush, the one that I share in this and other courses. I'm going to choose some universal color from here by pressing Alt or Option, choosing the color, and then just paint over it. We don't have to paint over everything in the same color. If you want to keep the image uh, more natural, as you can see, you can choose a few different colors uh, with taking the sample by Alt or Option in other areas. So let's have a look how it looks like and and this is done. So the first step is done. I'm going to do selection on the other side quickly. So the same technique I'm going to use, of course, pen tool and paint close to the edges, just like this. So now up to this point and this is the selection. So here we have some more lights, um, but I will try to keep it as natural as possible. I'm not going to waste the time for cleaning this. Of course, once it's selected, we need to make selection and everything will be the same. So it will be one pixel 
feather radius and then I will try to paint it in the nice and natural colors so I'm not wasting time with uh, being too careful too precise I'm just going to paint over it and I can guarantee you uh, this is going to give us simply good results as you can see uh, nice selection I need to check on the top as you can see the selection wasn't perfect here uh, we can fix it uh, we can easily fix it uh, by making another selection or if you trust your skills just paint close to the edges as I do right now if we do mistake I just press command let me check command and Z to do a step back so this first two um, easy to deal with uh, when it comes to some other spots I'm going to work a little bit here um, the shiny spot so we can use the same techniques or other techniques as you can see um, working with healing brush but um, sometimes we might um, crave or our customer might crave for a really clean look so then what I would recommend to do uh, make the selection and paint over or at least with 50% opacity and once you do it uh, the effect over here will be softer so I'm going to do it here uh, we'll see if I can achieve this this is the uh, last thing for uh, this lesson that we are going to try to do and this shadow for now I'm going to keep it's the natural shadow we might not want to remove this so I'm going to make selection here and a few things that we can do uh, we can do as you can see clone stamp and break down the harshness with the clone stamp like this or we can also press B and break down this harshness by painting over it so I'm not going to remove this completely because on the bottom here I want to keep some texture from the floor and just something like this as you can see it looks uh, clean if you got too close to the edge of course you can create a mask as I'm a little bit lazy I'm going to use eraser tool and make sure the edge is just natural so I possibly got a little too far some of the reflection I will keep here and also on the side and once again I'm going to try to naturally remove this one here this uh, weird reflection by clone stamp we need to make sure that we adjust this straight to the edge just like this I don't think it was perfect it's weird edge it doesn't seem to be too straight but now seems we managed to do this so now uh, let's move to the next lesson and face some other difficulty